Hello, Jai Hind and welcome to the second part of the story The Lost Child written by Mulkaraj Anand, a very wonderful story. In the first part, we have seen how the child went to the fair with his parents, how he was attracted with the different things, aspects of nature and uh, how he faced them. <clears throat> now, in the second part, we are moving, moving further, we are going to see what happened to the child next. So, he is at the fair and uh, he comes across different persons, different people there. <clears throat> a sweet meat seller hawked, meaning of hawked is to sell by calling out. A sweet meat seller shouted, Gulab Jamun, Rasgulla, Barfi, Jalebi. These were the different sweets that he sold. At the corner of the entrance and a crowd pressed round his counter at the foot of an architecture of many colored sweets. <laughs> So the sweet meat seller was there and uh, he was selling gulab jamun, rasagulla, barfi, jalebi and a crowd pressed round his counter. People gathered around him at the foot of an architecture of many colored sweets. Architecture of many colored sweets, it means he had arranged all the sweets in such a way as you must have seen somewhere in a fair that they arrange in a pyramid style. They arrange them one over the other one on the other and that makes a very beautiful architecture like building structure. So he had arranged that in architecture of many colored sweets decorated with leaves of silver and gold. <clears throat> the child stared open eyed and his mouth watered for the burfi that was his favorite sweet. So here we come to know what was his favorite sweet. His favorite sweet was burfi and his mouth watered. I want that burfi, he slowly murmured. But he half knew as he begged that his plea would not be heeded because his parents would say he was greedy. So he murmured slowly. There wasn't any kind of confidence in his demand. I want Burfi, that Burfi. It wasn't his way of asking for it. He said, I want that Burfi. He half murmured, slowly murmured. But he half knew. Half knew means he wasn't sure. There was a 50-50 chance. And because of the past experience, he knew almost that as he begged, as he asked, that his plea would not be heeded. Plea means request. Would not be heeded means paid attention to. Uske request ki tar koi dhyan nahi dega aur wo accept nahi karenge usko malum tha. Because his parents would say he was greedy. So parents would consider that he was greedy and that's why he didn't press he didn't insist on what he demanded. So without waiting for an answer, he moved on. So this is how his encounter with the sweet meat seller happened. A flower seller hawked. So now there was turn of a flower seller. A garland of Gulmohar, a garland of Gulmohar. He shouted like that. He was selling a garland of Gulmohar. Gulmohar ki mala bechra tha. The child seemed irresistibly drawn. Seemed means appeared irresistibly as if he was not able to resist that temptation. Wo us temptation ko us akarshan ko rok nahi pa raha tha. Drawn means attracted. The child seemed irresistibly attracted towards that Gulmohar Galen. He went towards the basket where the flowers lay heaped and half murmured. Now he again went to the basket and all the flowers lay heaped. Lay heaped means they were kept in a heap. Unka ek dher bana ke rakha tha. And half murmured. Again you will see, whatever he demanded, he didn't demand these things with full confidence. He just demanded them in a halfway manner. I wanted garland. But he well knew his parents would refuse to buy him those flowers. So he was sure, again because of the past experience, he was sure that his parents would not grant this request as well refused to buy him those flowers because they would say that they were cheap. Now, what parents will reason? Denge? Cheap. Hai. Matlab, e bhi koi cheez hai khari like. You shouldn't buy these things. So, without waiting for an answer, he moved on. So, the child didn't stress on his demand. A man holding a pole with yellow, red, green and purple balloons flying from him. Now, he came across one more person and that person was holding a pole Full of balloons and different colored balloons were there, yellow, red, green, purple, they were flying from it. 
The child was simply carried away by the rainbow glory of their silken colors. So the child was simply carried away. Carried away means he was so much impressed that he forgot his existence, that he forgot himself. So he lost control over himself, simply carried away by the rainbow glory. Rainbow, it is said rainbow because there are different color of balloons were there. Rainbow glory of their silken colors, means they were silky colors, smooth colors as he was filled with an overwhelming desire to possess them all. Overwhelming means strong desire. So he had a great strong desire to possess them all. Usko sare ke sare balloons chahiye the. Children love balloons. So he to light them. But he well knew his parents would never buy him the balloons. Again he was sure that his this request would also not be accepted. Never buy him the balloons because they would say he was too old to buy with to play with such toys. Ab parents ka excuse denge? Ab wo itna bada ho gaya hai ki balloons ke saath uski khelne ki umar nahi hai. Aisa usko lagta hai. So he walked on further. So again he didn't press on this demand and he walked on further. A snake charmer stood playing a flute to a snake which coiled itself in a basket. So in earlier days, nowadays you don't find such kind of people in fair or uh, anywhere. But in olden days there were people who would come with a snake, snake kept in a basket and they would play a flute. जिसको बीन ऐसा कहते हैं वो बीन बजाते थे तो दैट काइंड ऑफ स्नेक चाम वॉज प्रेजेंट देर इन द फेयर सो फ्लूट टू अ स्नेक विच कॉइल्ड इट सेल्फ इन अ बास्केट इट्स हैड रेज इन अ ग्रेसफुल बैंड लाइक अ नेक ऑफ अ स्वैम सो द स्नेक वॉज कॉइल्ड इन द बास्केट एंड इट्स हैड रेज इन अ ग्रेसफुल बैंड like a neck of a swan so it was cobra and uh, its neck is compared with the neck of a swan while the music stole into its invisible ears music stole into means entered its invisible ears snake kaise bahar kaan nahi hote wo sirf feel karta hai un cheezon ko so invisible ears like a gentle rippling of an invisible waterfly waterfall so the music is compared with the sound of waterfall and uh, the writer has used very beautiful imagery here by telling that the music was like gentle rippling rippling means wave like motion and the sound produced by the flute here is compared with the sound produced by the waterfall waterfall aapko dikh nahi raha hai lekin uski awaaz aap mehsoos kar rahe hain तो उसकी आवाज के जैसे ही यहाँ पे वो फ्लूट की भी आवाज आ रही थी द चाइल्ड वेंट टूवर्ड्स द स्नेक चामर बट नोइंग हिज पेरेंट्स हैड फोबिडन हिम टू हियर सच कोर्स म्यूजिक कोर्स मीन्स रफ म्यूजिक हिज पेरेंट्स हैड फोबिडन हिम फोबिडन मतलब मना करना दे हैड स्टॉप हिम दे हैड रिफ्यूज हिम टू हियर सच कोर्स म्यूजिक एज अ स्नेक चामर प्लेट ही प्रोसीडेड फर्दर so this time also he had a desire to stop there and watch the play going on but he didn't stop there and proceeded farther <clears throat> there was a roundabout in full swing a roundabout means it's a merry go round or uh, different kinds of merry go rounds are used uh, at different fairs and uh, you must have also observed them must have enjoyed them to aise merry go round wahan pe tha men women and children carried away in a whirling motion they were moving round and round shrieked shrieked with a shouted at a high pitch cried with dizzy laughter dizzy matlab dizzy matlab jaise chakkar aana everything was turning round and round to us tarah se wo hans rahe the abhi shayad aap mehsoos karenge ki kaise round about mein baithne ke baad log chillate hain so that kind of laughter they had he heard them the child watched them intently intently matlab willingly oh he was again taken away by that he was again carried away by that and he watched them intently and then made a bold request and this time he asked this thing with stress 
I want to go to the roundabout. Please, father, mother, he requested to his parents. And this time, his request was bold enough. There was no reply. He turned to look at his parents. They were not there. Ahead of him, he turned to look on either side. They were not there. He looked behind. There was no sign of them. So when he was completely controlled, caught by the roundabout at that time, he didn't pay attention to his parents and his parents suddenly disappeared from the location. So he tried to find them out from all the sides. Aage dekha, piche dekha, baju dekha, sab taraf dekha. But there was no sign of his parents. He was lost. And suddenly the whole scenario changed. A full deep cry rose within his dry throat. Now we will see. Until now, the writer was describing everything in a such a beautiful manner that all the things we had to see and enjoy. But suddenly, the tone of the writer also has changed. Now, this paragraph, there was no reply. This paragraph, it acts like a change in the tone. And now, you will see the whole scenario changes. And the writer also has used beautiful word, appropriate word to describe the situation. A full deep cry rose within his dry throat. And with a sudden jerk of his body, he ran from where he stood. Suddenly he realized that he was lost. And he gave a jerk up to his body, a quick movement to his body and ran from, from where he stood, crying in real fear. Mother, father, he shouted. Tears rolled down from his eyes, hot and fierce. So tears rolled down. And he felt the, his face, his appearance, his tears, the hot and fears, darauna situation. Tha. His flushed face was convulsed. Flushed means reddened. Uska chehra pura lal lal ho gaya tha. Was convulsed with fear. Convulsed means, it means covered, overtaken, covered by fear. Uske chehre pe dar saaf nazar aa raha tha. Panic striken, he ran to the one side first, then the other, hither and thither in all directions, knowing not where to go. So he was completely panic. Panic stricken. Matlab, dar, restlessness. Uske upar havi ho gaya tha. Aur uske wajay se he ran to the one side first, then to the other. He was not able to understand where to go. Kabhi hither, kabhi udhar ko ja raha tha. Hither and dither. Hither and dither, matlab, from one side or to that side. This way or that way. In all directions, knowing not where to go. Mother, father, he wailed. Wailed means to cry in pain, cry in sorrow. His yellow turban came untidy and his clothes became muddy. So because of that, his yellow turban, he had to wear a pen, he had to wear a pen, and he had to wear a pen, and his clothes became muddy. His clothes were muddy. Having run to and fro in the rage of running for a while, he stood defeated, his cry suppressed into sobs. Now, he ran to and fro, yaha vaha bhaga, the rage of running, rage of running means running out of fear. Dar ke mario bhaga rata, for a while, he stood defeated. Now, he decided that he was lost. He lost his hopes as well. His cry is suppressed into sobs. Wo jo jor jor se chilla raha tha, ab dheere dheere. वो रोने लग गया था सांसें रोक रोक के उसकी आवाज निकल रही थी एट लिटिल डिस्टेंस ऑन द ग्रीन ग्रास ही कुड सी थ्रू इस फिल्मी आईज फिल्मी आईज मींस उसकी आंखों के सामने आंसू की एक फिल्म बनी थी हिज विजन वाज ब्लर्ड बिकॉज़ ऑफ द टीयर्स दैट ही हैड इन हिज आईज मेन एंड वुमेन टॉकिंग तो उस आंखों में से वो देख पा रहा था कि मेन है वुमेन है और बातें कर रहे थे he tried to look intently among the patches of bright yellow cloths. Intently means again willingly. Among the patches of bright yellow cloths. So there were different colored cloths that people were wearing. And but there was no sign of his father and mother among these people. Who seemed to laugh and talk just for the sake of laughing and talking. जानबूझ के ऐसा कर रहे थे, just for the sake of doing that, मेले में सब खुश होते हैं, वो खुशी दिखाने के लिए शायद 
ऐसे हंस रहे थे लेकिन देर वॉज नो साइन ऑफ हिस पेरेंट्स अमंग ऑल ऑफ देम दिस इज योर पार्ट 